left in the game. Coming up next, it's a UFC welterweight division matchup. Well, this dude is a submission magician. I am very thankful I am not fighting him here tonight, and it's really a case of pick your poison. He has so many different chokes in his arsenal and has been a master of getting these fights exactly where he wants them. There are black belts, there are guys like this who can do jujitsu at a level that not many people, regardless of the time spent, can truly get to. His understanding of position is truly unbelievable. He always has the frame. The moment you start to press into him, he's always underhooking, always looking for the next escape route, but not to get back to his feet. Right. He wants to go from bottom to top. If he's in the top position, you are constantly, constantly in danger. Don't think he can't submit you from the bottom, right. but his position of choice will always be in the top position sitting yes. in that beautiful half -block. Yeah, his striking also has improved a lot, but no secret as to what he'll be trying to do in this matchup team. Well, DC, this is a true mixed martial artist of the highest order. You've watched the film. Hard for me to see much in terms of glaring weaknesses, and he believes he can react to anything that is thrown his way inside that arm. It's unbelievable, because whenever you're trying to prepare for someone, you look for weaknesses. But when you watch this guy, you, nothing jumps off the page. When you think I have to go wrestle him, you realize very quickly. Ready. Ready to fight? 
All right, so here we go. Round one is underway. I can't wait to see how this fight plays out because he told us on Thursday that despite his opponent's submission acumen, he's more than willing to engage him on the A lot of times, guys fight with their ego. They try to go and fight their opponent in their spot. Let's see if this proves to be a very bad decision. He's back in the push position. This is where he has done a ton of good work here. Punch, punch, punch to the head from the clinch. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Gracie's lower jaw now started to show signs of swelling. Oh, and he gets tagged. Beautiful combination there, and I'm not sure how many more of those power shots he can take, honestly. The night is almost over. If you keep getting hit with punches like this, you are going to sleep. Volume hook shots to the body here as he continues to work out of the clinch. He's doing a really good job of being into the body every time he comes in close. I really love the way that he's staying the course. He's really following the game plan. And now he has a headlock trying to pin his opponent's back down flat onto the mat. Look for him to transition to an arm triangle to try to chase the finish. Watch triangle, watch triangle. There he is, he's moving to the finishing position. Now watch, he go parallel right next to the opponent. Yes, he does. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. He's sort of hanging out here unguarded, DC. Not sure if he's trying to beat him in or what, but not great body language here. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. How about the volume of kicks out of this fighter tonight? And it really speaks to just how much a fighter can develop in three to five months away from left. Yeah, he's doing a fantastic job of showing the evolution of his game in this kick every Job working hard, posting, and getting back up. Beautiful thing out of the leg takedown attempt here, and that one is true. Nice job there to enter. And he got his foot on the hip, and now he's throwing up a triangle attempt. He's going to try to move his left arm across to get pressure on the choke. can escape. Nice hammer fist. All right, he's got the feet on the hips now, DC, in a pretty good position to get out, I would think, if he so chooses. Absolutely. This is the ideal position for escaping. Now, you're not going to get a submission off or anything like that, but you having your feet on your opponent's hips, it just allows you to build a, a, a push. You just push right. with your feet. You elevate your opponent's hips away from you, and then you just get a jiu-jitsu escape push. Oh! What a round! So the crowd voicing its appreciation after that round. We had a knockdown courtesy of a punch midway through. DC, here's your highlight. It was straight. He threw him in combination and landed that big punch that really did hurt his opponent. Lesser men would have been done. He's got a tough guy in front of him. He will have to go back to this again. He will have to get back to this action if he wants to get the desired finish. All right, round two. So he's sort of turtled up here, not great body language. Perhaps he's trying to bait him in a little bit. Gracie's lower jaw looking extremely swollen now. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. Good movement by him here on the ground. He really is a master of these transitions. He is a master of movement on the ground. You never know where he's going to be. All right, inside his opponent's guard here, DC. You don't want to play around here too long. No, you got to either have two hands in or two hands out. Our guys start to attack triangles. Now try to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Hurt him a 
little bit. Well, you see all the grappling repetitions here. Just beautiful movement, seamless transitions on them. Over and over, these guys are doing things that you see in every jiu-jitsu gym around the country. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round. Oh! oh. oh. He's back to the straight punches we've seen all night. Huge straight punch land, and he's got to put better back. so aggressive with his onslaught that ultimately appeared as though the outcome was an eventuality. So if you're the referee, you got to protect the fighter. And I thought he did a good job of doing just that. All right, DC, no telestrator tonight, but we're going to get you some highlights from this one. This was a fight that had it all, and for my money, his best performance to date. His best performance to date in the biggest moment. In the biggest moment, you got to show up. And that's exactly what he did tonight. He used every bit of his skill to get the job done. Now we go inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer for the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop this contest at three minutes, three seconds, round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout, Hobbs and Boris Kamada. Well, he's smiling ear to ear, and why not after a knockout like that? I need to take it to the after party. Tonight. I mean, this is what dreams are made of. You dream of the knockout like this, and then the pump. Put a hole in my jeans. I ain't playing in the whole never league. Go to Philly, then I go to Reddy's, then I get a rollie, then I meet a bitch, and then I get a zipping, and I get a zipping, and I reminisce. I feel like crushing once.